But you know, after Rosie apologized to uh, Darlene, Darlene looked like she was okay. She's going to forgive him and all that. But actually, new information coming out is Darlene is gradually distancing herself from Rosie. And Rosie is hurt. Rosie was crying. And Drew was cheering Rosie up, trying to tell her that if Darlene wants to go, she should go. And apparently, Rosie is saying that she said all those things about Darlene because she wanted to, you know, make her mates feel welcome. And Rosie was hurt that somebody she was trying to be there for, you know, in the past, is now trying to hurt something she's building now. Darlene is trying to distance herself from Rosie. That is what we are picking from the show. And Rosie couldn't, you know, Rosie was crying and Drew was trying to, you know, cheer Rosie up. This is Loyalty TV Studio. Subscribe, like, share, and then put us on post notifications so that whenever we post, you get to see what we are doing on this platform. Charlie, this is the filler way in daytown. Let's go and watch the video. The people who don't like you will believe what they want to believe. Because already they don't like you and they are waiting to hear something negative from your side. So if you're not getting it, they will make it. Okay? So stop crying. You do not have to impress anyone in this house. You don't have to listen to anyone. Just be you, be good. People's opinions don't matter in this house. Because at the end of the day, we are. A lot of people here are just here to play games with my people. Trust me. Some people are just not worth it. They are just not worth it. So stop crying. You are stronger than this. You are strong. Okay? Look at me. Look at me. You are strong. Okay. Come. So, how does it affect you? So, you can It's about what people think about you. Hmm? No. So what's it? What people have said about you? I'm just surprised. How much of people tend to like trying to destroy you? Maybe because they don't see you inside. No. They don't see you. People are afraid of the things they don't know. You know? People try to people will try to figure you out. They will change perceptions. They would say things. They would push you to do things. Just because they feel like you yeah, are probably stronger than them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but I feel like some of us are struggle not because we won't be like sometimes you don't have any interaction, you know. If you know where you want to be or where you want to go or what you are looking forward to do with your life. Like, I'm scared and I'm surprised. I'm surprised because, like, I remember how the friendship between myself and Tracy ended and how terrible it became. You know? Like, who would even think in the beginning that Tracy would probably have issues with me? Do and say so many as well things. I never thought something like that. 
happening you now. Someone that I was trying to be nice to. I was trying to make comfortable at a point is now putting in so much work to I don't know break me or make me unhappy or make sure that I do not have friends in this house. I don't know. And I know that since Saturday that the whole thing happened, I've been acting okay and I've been acting tough like all. Oh, it's just one of those things. And it's really, it's really because it's one of those things, but I think about it a lot. Especially for the fact that it would have been avoided if I had just stayed in my name, in my name, my business, and not tried to make someone comfortable or at least make someone feel seen or loved or But here we are again. The same thing is happening over and over again. And now, I have now that I have another friend, I'm just scared that it might not end the way that I saw the world or the way that I'm thinking it would happen. So then, what's the point of being here? You yeah. think it's your point? It's you think everything that happened is your fault? Are you blaming yourself? Who else can I blame? Maybe if I was... Can I, can, I, can I give you an example of how... <laughs> Let me say this. I've been in that situation before. Always friends and then something will happen and we just stop talking. So I, I used to think I was the problem. So I met people, some... So I met, then I just noticed, do you really need plenty of friends? Do you really need a group of people around you? Or you need just that one person? Just that one person you can trust. Just that one person. You know my friend, my first friend in this house? Jason. We met at the, um, when we were going to the uh, water, water. Until now. So if you get people who envy you low-key, people envy you low-key, but they are just pretending to be your friends. People are afraid of you low-key, but they are just pretending to be your friends. People want what you have, but they are just pretending to be your friend. People admire your talent and are jealous of it, and they are just pretending to be your friend. So now you get comfortable. You see, let me tell you the most dangerous people in this world. People that you confine in or you, you open up to trying to make you comfortable and you say things to and later when you guys are no more friends, they want to twist things and use it against you. That's how my friendship stopped with someone, that last person I had before I became friends with Jason. The person twisted words and sent it to someone else. And that person too did something. And I was like, ah, really? Did you really do this to me? Stop crying. So those are the most dangerous people you can ever be friends with. And I should have known better. Because trust me, I, I just saw this coming. Because at the end of the day, in the beginning, we were all just trying to be safe. Everyone plotted. She that she said all that. You know the things she has said to you, and you know the things she has said to me, mm -hmm. and you know the things she said to everyone. It's not even necessary. You wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. It's not even necessary. It's not necessary. That's the thing. First of all, me, I'm not one to come and say things because you're not very. Yeah, no okay. You told me what she told me because you trusted me at the time. Yes. And no matter what you have done. So that's Rosie, you know, crying, and then the, you know, the small uh, video they brought of Darlene 
also sitting in her own corner. I think that this is something the two of them need, you know, they need to have a conversation about this. It has already happened. And I know Rosie, Rosie was wrong. And just like I always say, it's a typical example to everybody that we should be mindful of what we say today because we don't know tomorrow. The person you are gossiping about today might be your friend tomorrow. So we need to be mindful of the kind of things that we say. But I think that the friendship between those two breaks. <laughs> and we don't have JJD brothers again. I wouldn't be surprised if the JD brothers will also break up. And I think that the two young men, Drew and then Jason, they need to you know manage this whole thing and i think that uh darling regardless of how you know this this and and as i say you cannot blame darling how she reacts because when you offend people you cannot control how they react but then since this was said in the past this was in the past and before this they were cool and all that but you know this this is this is a very delicate matter that i don't even know how to you know go about the entire thing but then Darlene is hurt by it seems, you know, uh, she, she's going through it. But when Rosie said that she was saying all those things to make her miss comfortable, I think that that was a very stupid thing to do. To just say anything because you want your new friend to be comfortable. I think that that was a very stupid thing to do. Rosie didn't act right. And whatever decision that Darlene takes, she should be able to accept it in good faith. But for her miss... I've always said this. The friendship ends. The secret should end with it. And normally, these things, I don't... And see, it is not a woman thing. We saw what Bernard Boy and then Satawale did on Twitter, Instagram, the back and forth, revealing all the dirty things they did when they were friends. I don't like that. When friendship ends, it should end with it. Because how life should be but i don't know uh, your take on this whole thing subscribe like share and i don't want anybody to tell me that i'm being biased it's cheated didn't act right and i'm expecting rosie to go and apologize to tessie too because of the kind of things that she said about tessie and then martin's relationship but then regardless what her miss did was a break of trust when friendship dies secrets should die with them. Loyalty TV Studio. Subscribe, like, share. We out.